Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I feel weird saying welcome back because I've only filmed two videos and they were vlogs. But, um, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Skylar and today I'm going to be doing a little Valentine's Day makeup look. I wouldn't so much say it's a tutorial, but it's basically just me sitting here achieving this look. This is my go-to look. I was about to film this just as like my go-to like soft glam makeup look, but Valentine's Day is coming up so I thought it was a perfect occasion to add the red lip in there and make this a Valentine's Day makeup look. The main focus of this look is the big eyelashes and the lip, but it's also very universal. You could really put any color lip with this because the eyes are just very natural, obviously other than the eyelashes. Um, but yeah, you could pair this with a nude lip, you could pair it with a burgundy lip, um, a pink lip, anything you want. I just went with the red because it's my favorite and it's Valentine's Day. So if you like this look and you would like to see how I got this look, then just please keep watching and don't forget to hit subscribe below and if you love this video, please give it a thumbs up. Okay, so the first step I'm going to do is I'm just going to prep my face with some moisturizer. This is the moisturizer I will be using. It is the Ultra Repair Cream by First Aid Beauty. And I'm just going to apply this all over my face. And I have pretty dry skin, so I use a decent amount of this. Okay, so once you have applied your moisturizer all over your face, you want to let it set in for about 5 to 10 minutes. So when you go to do your foundation, it doesn't still feel wet. The next product I'm going to be using to prep my face is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. So I'm just going to take this and apply it all over my face. Again, I have dry skin, so I use a pretty generous amount of this. Um, if you have oily skin, I would not recommend using a lot of this. And I also bring it down my neck just a little bit because I am going to be applying foundation there. After my primer is applied, I'm going to take my Estee Lauder Double Wear Light and also the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Foundation CC Cream. In this, I'm using the shade Medium Tan, and in this, I'm using the shade Sand. So I'm gonna take a tiny drop of the foundation and just put little dots where I'd like it to go. And then I'm going to take the CC Cream and squirt about two drops on my cheek. Instead of doing this to my entire face and then blending it out, I like to do smaller sections and blend it out as I go and then, you know, do different sections. So this is what it looks like now. I'm mixing the two because the foundation is a little bit too light for me right now and the CC cream is a little bit darker. So I'm going to take a damp beauty sponge and just blend this all out. Also blend it down my neck. Sounds dry. Okay, and now the other side. And I am going to spray um, 
my beauty blender with some facial spray because it, it dries out throughout the process. I do this like a hundred times throughout my makeup application. to do my concealer I'm going to be using Tarte Shape Tape as well as Maybelline Fit Me Concealer for Maybelline it's shade number 10 and then for Shape Tape it is Fair Neutral I'm going to take the Fit Me foundation because it's a lighter coverage on my chin and also on my nose and taking the same damp beauty sponge and blending it out. And then I'm just gonna put a little bit on my forehead. And I always like my concealer a couple shades lighter than my foundation. Okay, next it's time to put concealer underneath my eyes. And for that, I'm gonna use the shape tape. I normally don't use this concealer i love it but it's just really full coverage and this one is just really pale for me that's why almost every day i use the maybelline fit me but for this look i want it a little bit more dramatic and i really want my under eyes highlighted a lot so i'm going to be using this going to go wash my beauty sponge because it's just getting so much buildup and it's making my life really difficult. Okay, so now that my beauty sponge is nice and wet, I'm going to take the bigger end and just buff everything out a little bit more before I set everything. Okay, so the next step is to set all of the liquid concealer and foundation that I just put on. And for that, I'm going to be using three different powders. The first one I'm going to be using is um, by Laura Mercier, and it is the um, Brightening Under Eye Powder. So it's different than her regular translucent setting powder. This one is specifically for under eyes um, and I'm gonna take the damp beauty blender and use a decent amount of this to bake underneath my eyes where my concealer is powder I'm using is the CoverGirl Clean Professional Loose Setting Powder. This one has a little bit of a tint to it, but not much. I think it comes in a few different shades. And with my Beauty Blender, I'm going to dip into that and put it 
on my chin where my concealer is. Sounds right. And then also on my nose. And also on my forehead in the center where I put concealer. For those of you who don't know, this is called baking. Um, this is to set your concealer exactly where you put it. And I did say earlier, I have dry skin. Um, not like crazy dry, but definitely on the drier side. And I bake and I don't have any problems. My makeup stays on great. My skin doesn't get too dry. But that's probably because I keep wetting my beauty blender when I put my makeup on. I keep spraying my face and my beauty blender. And I used so much primer and moisturizer that my skin was ready for all the dryness. Okay, so the third powder I'm gonna be using to set anywhere there isn't translucent powder is the Revlon Color Stay. Yes, I know. It's a shame I'm making a video with a powder looking like this. I'm sorry. But I'm using this in the color 830. It says light slash medium. As far as powder goes, I don't think I've ever really used well, as far as pressed powder goes, I don't think I've ever used a really nice, expensive powder. I've always used drugstore powders and they work just fine for me. Okay, so while all this is baking, I'm gonna take that Revlon powder and this big fluffy Real Techniques brush and dip into that and just start to set around my neck and go kind of around where, there, where it's not baking. Cause I did put foundation on my neck, so Anywhere there is fine foundation or concealer, I want to make sure I set that or else it's going to get really funky when I start to contour. So just down my neck, along my cheek where I'm going to be contouring, I don't want that tacky at all because I'm using a powder contour. And if that's tacky, the powder is not going to blend out. And then I'm just gonna feel around, make sure nothing feels tacky. And now we can begin to contour. For contouring, I am going to be using this Lorac Pro Palette. Um, it's a powder contour kit. I've used this palette for so long, I love it. I'm not gonna tell you like which one I'm using because I pretty much just dip into all of them. I'm definitely gonna start with the deepest one because I am initiating where my contour is gonna go. So I'm gonna dip into like the deep one and the medium one with this angled Real Techniques brush. And not too much, just take a little bit of the deep and the medium. Tap off your brush. And then suck in those cheeks and figure out where your contour is gonna go. That looks so much darker on camera than it is in real life. That's crazy, this is lying to you. I promise I don't look like that. Okay, on the other side. Next, I'm going to take this blush brush by EcoTools and dip into the medium contour color and just go all around um, my forehead to kind of bronze a little bit. I don't really use bronzer. I just use my like contour powder. taking this all around my forehead and connecting it and kind of buffing out the contour and turning it more into a bronze, the contour. I don't really like a super like dramatic like contour. I like like bronzy and like also contoured a little bit, but not like super like precise and like perfect. Sounds 
Okay, so now I'm going to take this big fluffy brush again and just brush off all the translucent powder that's left. The next step I'm going to do is contour my nose. This is actually an eyeshadow brush I got in my Ipsy. It says Glamour Dolls on it. Not sure what that is, but it's just ooh, this little brush. And I'm gonna dip into the medium contour shade. I'm not necessarily trying to change the shape of my nose. I'm just trying to like make it more defined and warm up the center of my face. Next, I'm gonna add a little bit of blush. Um, I'm gonna be using the Laura Geller um, Honeysuckle Shimmery Blush. I love this blush. I got it in my Ipsy in this size. And I am definitely gonna be buying the full size of this because I love it. I'm gonna use a shit ton of that on my cheeks. say it but my makeup looks way better in person than it does on this camera and it's making me a little bit mad I'm gonna use a second blush I have this little Anastasia blush trio and I'm gonna be using that middle shimmery pink this is like very pigmented and the Laura Geller isn't super pink it's just has a good bronze so this adds a nice pink to my cheeks since it is Valentine's Day, I definitely want like super rosy cheeks. Well, it's not Valentine's Day, but this is a Valentine's Day look. And I notice that my blush fades out very quickly, so I put a lot of blush on, and I feel like by the time I'm done with my makeup and ready to go, it's set into like a normal color. But right now I might look like a clown for a little bit. Um, I'm gonna take this brush and just kind of buff everything out a little bit more because we are done with the face. I lied, we're not done with the face. I'm now gonna take that same CoverGirl translucent powder and my beauty sponge and cut this contour a little bit. Okay, so the next step is to do my eyebrows. But I'm just brushing out my eyebrows right now. There's nothing on this. I'm gonna be using the Anastasia Dip Brow um, in the shade Taupe, as well as um, the Anastasia Brow Brush. Okay, I just went ahead and did my eyebrows off camera because you couldn't see anything I was doing and it was really hard. So next I'm going to take my NYX Control Freak. It's a clear eyebrow setting powder. And I'm gonna take that and apply it to my brows that I just did. Sounds right. Okay, so we're about to start on the eyes. The eyes for this look really aren't much because the main focus is the lip and the dramatic eyelashes, which I'll be doing shortly. Um, but we are gonna do a little bit on the eyes. I don't even wanna hold up this palette. I can't, I really can't. This is my favorite palette. And this is what it looks like. But, I'm gonna take this color right here with this Sigma brush. And I'm gonna dip into this white color, the lightest color in the whole palette. So any um, matte white shade will work for this. And I'm just gonna um, shadow underneath my eyebrow. So 
sometimes I do this before my eyebrows, sometimes I do it after, but I'm just gonna do it after and um, I might just have to touch up my eyebrows at the end. I'm also gonna bring this white shade into the little corner of my eye, attach it to the eyebrow. Okay, and I'm gonna use the same brush and dip into a shade just a little bit darker. Still, it's just a nude eyeshadow. It's, there's like no color. Um, I just do this to prep the lid. I'm gonna be using this little MAC brush. And I'm gonna dip into this burnt orange. I want the eyes to be very natural. I just, I'm gonna try to contour them a little bit. And just place this gently in the crease. Sounds right. I'm gonna bring it over to the other eye and do the same thing. to add a little bit of this brown shade here. I honestly don't know if this is gonna be lighter or darker. Sounds good. Definitely darker. I am now going to go into this Morphe 350 palette. So I'm gonna take this color with this Morphe brush. I'm gonna place it like up here. Sounds right. And this is also helping just to blend out the entire eye. Sounds right. I don't wanna get too carried away with the eyes, so I'm gonna go um, start putting eyeshadow underneath my eye. I think we're about done up top. And I'm just gonna take that second shade I used from the Tarte palette, this one, and this Urban Decay brush, and lightly place it underneath my waterline. And I'm just taking the MAC brush to soften that up a bit. Sounds right. And also connect it kind of to the upper eyeshadow. Sounds right. It's a little bit crazy right now. So we are done with our eyeshadow. Next I'm going to take this Revlon eyeliner. It's just um, one of those like marker eyeliners. And I'm basically just gonna take this and line my lash line a little bit. Um, this really doesn't matter what it looks like because I'm putting on huge lashes after. This is just to blend the lash band in with my eyeball. If you get what I'm saying. See, so it just darkened up my eyes a little bit. Next, I'm taking this little itty bitty Dior brush and I'm gonna dip into a black eyeshadow and just go over that eyeliner because it's really messy. Um, and this is just gonna soften it up a little bit. Okay, next I'm going to curl my eyelashes. This is a lot of work. I don't know how people do this for like a job. I have a headache. Now that my eyelashes are curled, I'm going to apply one layer of mascara 
and I'm gonna be using the Lancome Monster Big. It's my favorite mascara, but right now, it doesn't really matter how our eyelashes look. You just need to make sure that all your eyelashes have a coat of mascara on them because the lashes I'm gonna be using are so big and black that it's you're gonna be able to tell if your natural lashes do not have mascara on. Sounds right. Also on my bottom lashes too. I'm going to brush off this powder before I forget. It's time to highlight. I'm gonna be using this brush to highlight and I'm going to be using this Laura Mercier highlighting kit. It looks like this. And I'm going to be mixing in this gold and this rose gold together. For some reason with this highlighter, either my face or my brush has to be wet for it to go on. So I'm going to give my face a little spritz of the Mario Badescu setting uh, facial spray. Not too much. And then I'm going to give about two spritzes on my brush as well. I normally don't wet my brush for highlighter, but for some reason this one will only go on if my brush is wet and for my face. I use a ton of highlighter. This is a Valentine's Day look, so I feel like it should be very over the top and glowy. So that's what I'm going to do. some of my nose, my chin, my cupid's bow. Sounds dry. I also just kind of brush whatever's left around my forehead and everywhere else. Okay, so the lashes I'm going to be using today are from Velour Lashes. This is what they look like. I have two sets of Velour Lashes and they are my absolute favorite. These ones are super big and dramatic. So if that's not your style, I would just do whatever lashes you want. Um, this is what they look like. They are so beautiful. I'm gonna try my best to do this on camera. But to apply my lashes, I use a little tool like this. This is just makes it easier for me to grab them. And I'm going to pick the center of the lash and grab it. Like, grab it. Okay. The glue I'm going to be using is my favorite eyelash glue. It's by Duo. It looks like this. And I'll show you what it looks like inside. So it's like this little thin brush like this, which makes it super easy to paint it on. And I'm just going to paint a thin layer along the band of the lashes. And now I'm going to wait for that to dry and get super tacky. You don't want to go ahead and put your eyelashes on when the glue is still wet because it's going to slide all around on you and be super hard for it to go on. So I'm going to wait. And like I was saying earlier, um, the lower lashes are super black and super dramatic. These ones have a really thick black band, which is actually what I like, but that is why I lined my eyeballs. Um, it just helps it blend in so much better because if you don't have eyeliner on and my eyeshadow is very light, that black band is gonna be seen from a mile away. And I'm going to basically just sit this on my eyeball where I want it to go. down and there it is it's just sitting there though and we're just gonna attach each corner I'm gonna use the end of this to just push it down and then the inner corner too just push it down and then I'm just gonna kind of like sandwich my real lashes and the falsies together and there you go Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put my other eyelash on. Okay, so other than lips, all I pretty much have left is some finishing touches. For finishing touches, I'm going to do a second layer of mascara on my bottom lashes. 
am also going to back into that white powder I used to go underneath my eyebrow and place it in the corner of my eyes. I realized I forgot to highlight under my eyebrow. Dip into those same two shades, the rose gold and the regular gold. And highlight underneath my eyebrow. All I have left to do is my lips. So to prep my lips, I'm. some people might find this gross. Um, I'm going to prep my lips with concealer. And then I'm going to set the concealer with powder. The reason I do this is because if your lips are the same color as your face, you are getting the full color of whatever color you're putting on your lips and the pink from your natural lip color isn't showing through. Um, it also helps with aligning them. You can kind of line and do whatever kind of shape you want. Next, I'm going to line my lips. The color we are doing today is red because it's Valentine's Day. So I'm gonna take um, this red lip liner from Sephora and just line my lips. Okay, so now that I look like a crazy person and my lips are lined, I'm going to take this Sephora liquid lipstick. It's number one. It is the most perfect red liquid lipstick I've ever laid my hands on. And the red lip liner matches it perfectly. They're inexpensive. And I'm just going to fill in my lips. So my camera died when I was doing my lipstick, but it's okay. I was pretty much done putting it on anyway, um, but I just went ahead and styled this look. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, but we have two steps left, and the first one, I'm going to highlight my collarbones. I'm um, gonna spray this brush again, and go into the same highlighters I was using before, these two, and just place this on my collarbones. It's just a little extra finishing touch, but I think it does so much to any look and makes it so beautiful. Okay, and aside from that, we are done. I'm just going to spray my face with this NYX um, Matte Finish Setting Spray. This is my favorite setting spray of all time. And that is it. This is the finished look. This is exactly what I was going for. If I could pick one makeup look that I would do for the rest of my life, it would be this one. I just love it so much and I think it's so perfect for Valentine's Day. The dramatic lashes and the lip just add so much and bring everything um, all together, but it's still a little bit natural in a way. I went ahead and styled this look with a little um, red bodysuit. I thought it was so pretty and perfect for Valentine's Day and it matches the red lips so nicely. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe below so you don't miss the next one because this is my first makeup video ever. So it would really mean a lot if you subscribe and click the thumbs up if you loved this Valentine's Day look. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and happy Valentine's Day.